Hi, my name's Steve Connor, and I'm a lifelong Republican. But have to admit, I grew disillusioned with the party way back when Mitch McConnell's strategy for the Obama administration was to deny him all cooperation for the explicit purpose of rendering his presidency a failure. Is that any way to govern? Is that the principles and strategies we want from our elected leaders? I didn't vote for Trump in 2016, obviously. But then the psychopath won. And I thought that uh, most Republicans would reject him in mass. And many of them did in the beginning when they thought he couldn't get elected. Even Mitch McConnell said in 2016, Donald Trump doesn't know a lot about the issues and has not displayed the requisite seriousness of purpose for the presidency. How did the Republicans in Congress totally abandon their morals and embrace this buffoon? Numerous people who know and have worked for Trump say the same thing. This man doesn't understand the issues and doesn't care. He has the objective in mind to do and say whatever personally benefits him and furthers his pursuit of money, power, and fame. John Bolton, John Kelly, Miles Taylor, Rex Tillerson, Anthony Scaramucci, Michael Cohen, Mary Trump, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of fake and opinion news out there, but statements like these people have made who worked directly with or intimately knew Trump, how do you refute that? They want to sell books, of course, but I have to think there's truth in their statements that all echo the exact same sentiment. This guy is not qualified. I'm 70 years old and contributed to Social Security for 50 years, many years to the maximum. And now Trump signs an executive order to defer, and if he gets reelected, to end payroll taxes? Do you know what funds Social Security? Payroll taxes. What's his plan? Like always, he doesn't have one. Just say or do anything that might help him get reelected. Like others have said, I'd vote for a tuna fish sandwich before I'd vote for Trump.